let us pray. Father God, we praise you. Blessed be your holy name forever. You are worthy of all honor, worship, glory, and praise, and we just magnify your name, Abba. Father, we thank you so very much for your grace, mercy, wisdom, anointing, and protection. Thank you, Father, for loving us as imperfect as we are. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for Jesus and for your Holy Spirit, our Comforter. Thank you, Jesus, for all you have done, all you continue to do, and all that you have yet to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for everything, seen and unseen, known and unknown, that you have done and all you are doing and all that you have yet to do. Hallelujah. May we remember the words spoken by the prophet Zechariah, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Yes, yes, Abba, you have might, Father, and power. But what a beautiful and powerful thing you are doing upon the earth by the power of your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, for eyes to see and ears that hear your truth away from the lies and the confusion of the world and the enemy. Thank you, Abba, for Jesus' righteousness. Glory be to God. We call to you, the only one true living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we pray with one voice, one body in Christ, the church that Jesus built and purchased with his precious blood, the current temple of God on the earth that has been given power, the Holy Spirit who is greater than the one in the world. We thank you, Father God, for the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead for our comforter teacher and friend we thank you so very much for the gift of the holy spirit that is in us and the spirit and the bride your church say come lord jesus christ we long to be with you father your purchased possession calls to you yearning for your return and through your holy spirit and by the power of jesus blood we come against all that offends you in this world in jesus name father we speak the precious blood of jesus christ of nazareth against all that offends you against all this genetic corruption of your creation against all this mrna junk all these so-called variants and injections of things that were never meant to be inside the human body we speak the blood of Jesus Christ against all these illegal mandates, laws, and lies in Jesus' precious name by the power of his precious blood and by his spirit. Father, we speak the holy word of God, which is a sword against it all. And may it slice through, dismantle, uproot, bind, cast out, and expose all of it, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Have your way with it all, Abba, by the power of Jesus' blood and by his spirit. Father, open the windows of heaven and dispatch mighty angels, holy angels, healing angels, helping angels, and warring angels with Holy Spirit fire to every space, every crevice, every millimeter, every inch of this earth as you see fit, Father, according to your will for your plan and for your perfect glory. Hallelujah. We pray, Abba, that all people worldwide come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Father, break chains, open their eyes that they may see, open their ears that they may hear, remove the stone hearts and replace them with a Christ-like heart of flesh, a heart of compassion, charity, meekness, and love, that we may all treat one another with love, kindness, and respect in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for leaders that fear you, that will bring the hearts of men back to the word and truth of God. We pray for every heart, mind, and soul that needs you most, that you let your presence be seen, heard, and felt according to your will, Bring them all to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ that they may become a walking testimony for your will, plan, and glory. We pray, Father, that in Jesus' name that you heal the brokenhearted along with those who are sad, oppressed, depressed, those mourning and the widows. Father, may your strength, your comfort, your peace and presence above all your love. Let it heal their hearts. Saturate them with you, Jesus. We pray for all those who are in pain, suffering, sick, 
diseased, confused in hospitals and those terminally ill. Father, we pray for revival unlike anything we have ever seen. We pray for healing and miracles unlike anything we have ever seen, Father, in Jesus' name. We pray for them all to come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and that they give you the glory, Abba, that they too become a walking testimony for your will, for for your plan and glory, hallelujah. We pray for the church, the body of Christ, who is the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Father, may we walk by faith, not by sight in these dark times. May we walk as ambassadors for Christ, knowing who we belong to and just who it is on our side. May we stand firm on your truth, our firm foundation, the word of God, which sanctifies. Father, may your hand, your mighty arm work powerfully for your will, plan, and glory. And what the enemy intended for evil, Father, flip it in Jesus' name and make it for good. In Jesus' mighty name, by the power of his precious blood and by his spirit, I pray all these things. Amen and amen. And I thank you, Father. And I sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ, sealing this prayer that it may reach to your throne, Abba, and to your ears safely and soundly without hindrance. And I sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ over your response to us all, that it may reach us Godspeed and that no prayers be delayed by the kingdom of darkness who delayed Daniel's response as per the angel Gabriel in the book of Daniel that we learn. So I thank you, Father, that you have heard these prayers. And even now you, Abba, have set things in motion for your will, plan, and glory. And we just thank you, Father. Father, for your great mercy and grace, for loving us as imperfect as we are. Thank you, Lord, that you, mighty Father, are for us, not against us. And we know that all things work together for good to them that I love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. We, the church, the body of Christ, are called, chosen, and faithful with the full armor of God on and by the power of the precious blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit of the almighty living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we stand victorious and look forward to your appearing, Jesus. We give you thanks, Lord, and end this prayer as Jesus did. Nevertheless, Lord, your will be done. Amen and amen. We trust you, our God, our Father, the only one true living God of Israel. We trust you, Jesus. We trust you, Holy Spirit. Armor up, church. The battle is real. As we see things begin to get darker and darker. Remember, we walk by faith, not by sight. And we are told in Luke 21 that when those things read in Luke 21 begin to come to pass, that we read about in Luke 21, we are to look up for our redemption draws near. Jesus' return is so close. Get your house in order. My precious brothers and sisters in Christ, soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. All glory, praise, and honor to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I just, I'm so grateful for you in these times that we're all living in. Let us um, edify one another. Let us love one another. Let there be unity in the body of Christ, in Jesus' name. God bless you and keep your head up. Shine your precious light. Share the gospel in Jesus' name. God bless you. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon.